Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. As the Rodney Dangerfield of cars, the Audi TT never seems to get any respect. Despite packing a decent amount of performance under its squash beetle looking skin, for many it's just too cute to be taken seriously. Well, while the looks haven't changed that much, Audi's latest TT, this RS, packs a smoking 360 horsepower and a racetrack worthy suspension. So let's see if that's enough for the TT to get its proper due. In an effort to earn more respect, Audi engineers sent the TT back to school to get some of the ladybugs worked out and to make the 2012 Audi TT RS a true performance car that's more at home on a racetrack than at the Bushwood Country Club. We headed to our favorite club racing circuit, Savannah's Roebling Road Raceway, to find out if they succeeded in this mission. Well, after a few days of putting the TTRS through its paces, all of our drivers came away quite impressed. Roebling Road is comprised of mostly high-speed corners, and it has a way of eating underpowered cars alive. But the RS proved well-suited to this track, as you can keep the throttle pinned to the floor and scoot through most turns with ease. Steering is quick, almost to the point of being darty, and the RS will still understeer in typical Audi Quattro fashion but you can get a little oversteer as well with well-timed throttle inputs. It speaks volumes to both a good chassis design and a good balance of power with that chassis. Our testers also used words like agile, fun, nimble, and responsive, which are all good ones to hear when someone is describing a sports car. But one word we heard more than most was awesome, and it was used when describing the brakes. Corner after corner, they provided fade-free woe downs and delivered good feedback while doing it. Straight line stopped from 60 average to short 120 feet. Transmission is a six-speed manual only, and Quattro all-wheel drive is standard. When engaged, sport mode quickens throttle response, firms up the suspension settings, and gives you a more aggressive exhaust note. The throttle pedal when engaged makes the RS leap off the line with gusto and helps you hit 60 in just four and a half seconds, while the quarter mile passes in only 12.8 seconds at 112 miles per hour. Motivation for these speedy sprints comes from Volkswagen's 2.5 liter inline five. Here it's turbocharged and puts out an impressive 360 horsepower and 343 pound feet of torque. Despite the pumped up track performance, on the street, the TTRS remains a very civilized and enjoyable daily driver. Seats are comfortable and the ride is not too harsh, though it can get a bit noisy in the cockpit, especially when you add the optional sport exhaust package, which is louder but not particularly pleasing. And sitting in the TTRS is very much like being in a cockpit. There's not a lot of room to go around, but the design makes very good use of what space there is. It's also refreshingly simple and build quality is first rate. All controls are within easy reach. A nine speaker, 140 watt sound system is standard, but for navigation, you must add the optional tech package. A flat bottom steering wheel adds a sporty touch and aids in entry while aluminum sill plates and pedal covers add a bit of shiny. Front seats are well bolstered and supportive for track work, but we weren't crazy about the white stitching. While the TTRS might have bulked up at every possible performance measure, when it comes to styling, it's mostly the same smooth looking squashed insect that you either love or love to hate. It does wear a more aggressive looking front end with larger air intakes and a black diamond pattern version of Audi's single frame grill. It also gets standard Xenon Plus headlights and Audi's much copied LED daytime running lights. The RS also sports matte finished aluminum side mirrors. 18 inch wheels are standard, but opt for the titanium sport exhaust package and you'll get these nice looking 19s. In back, there's a new rear fascia with integrated diffuser. A fixed rear wing is standard, but this deployable rear spoiler is a no-cost option. 
from the sides, there's still the same minimal greenhouse, but down low are extended side sills that help to give a more substantial look. Government fuel economy ratings for the TTRS are 18 city and 25 highway. The energy impact score is average, 16.5 barrels of oil consumed per year, with annual CO2 emissions of 7.3 tons. As for pricing, the 2012 Audi TTRS Coupe comes in at $57,725, and a Roadster version is also due. So, is the TTRS a true Cinderella story? Did it indeed come out of nowhere to become a champion? Well, in the words of that great caddy talent scout, Carl Spackler, it's in the hole. <laughs>